If you're a woman in the Church of Christ, this message is for you. But if you're not, please stay as our honored guest. All women are welcomed here. Today we'll answer the question, what does it mean to be a doer of God's Word? For most of my adult life, I struggle with my weight. Now you wouldn't know it by looking at me today, but for years I was a chunky monkey. Each year I would put on just a few pounds around the holidays and a few during the summer when I wasn't working and, well, it all kind of adds up. Now I'd love to tell you that I found some great weight loss plan and had success, but the truth is I'm thin today because I just can't eat. I've mentioned before about my mysterious GI illness that made me in horrible pain and bed down for many years. Well, the pain is better, but I'm still unable to eat much. Prior to 2006, I could eat anything, anytime, anywhere, and it was great. Well, it was great at the time, but the pounds slowly built up, and in 2006, I was five foot seven and weighed 213 pounds. Yeah, I was chunky. Now, I tried diets before. I counted calories. Did you know that you can't get much food for a thousand calories? I tried skipping meals and that didn't work either. I just ate more the next meal. I suppose the only diet I ever tried that kind of worked for me was Weight Watchers. Sisters, I had a black belt in Weight Watchers. I started with them way back when all you ate was tuna fish and ended up when you could diet simply by counting your points. But here's the thing. Most of the time, I didn't do what I was supposed to do, and I didn't lose much weight. I didn't follow the plan. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I could spout off all sorts of facts and information. I could tell others about it. I was great at explaining why this was a good program, and I sometimes did some of what I was supposed to do, but I actually cheated more than I was good. Oh, I went to the meetings. <laughs> but I was always shocked if I actually lost even just a little bit of weight. And if that happened, I would reward myself with a treat on the way home. Really? Really, Brenda, did you not get the point? Wait, now before you start laughing at me, can you honestly say that you've never cheated on a diet? Mm-hmm. I thought so. So we are all diet cheaters. You know the old saying, if you continue to do what you've always done, you'll continue to get what you've always got. Is it enough? Well, is it? If we truly want to lose weight, we must do the diet. It's not enough to know about it, read about it, or even tell others about it. We have to actually follow the directions and do what it says to do. If we don't, we will not lose weight. It's just that simple. Have you ever thought about your faith that way? It's not enough just to know scripture. We must do it. James 1, 21 through 24. Therefore lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. Oh, I could go to meetings, have that diet plan memorized, and even lose a pound or two. But in order for me to get the real blessings from Weight Watchers, I needed to follow every step of the plan. The same is true with our faith. We can know scripture. But if it doesn't impact our day-to-day -day life, James says it's like we've looked in a mirror and walked away, forgot what we looked like. We may want to be a faithful Christian, but nothing will change unless we take action. Now, a diet plan can change how we look at on the outside, but God's powerful word can change us from the inside out. James chapter 1, verse 25, But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. Did you see that? When we not only look but we actually continue steadfastly, faithfully in the instruction of God's holy word, the Bible, God will bless everything you do. Why? 
because you will be doing His will. You will be following His commandments. You will love God with all your heart, and you will love your neighbor as yourself. You will live in peace as much as you can with those around you. You will be compassionate and caring to the suffering, visiting the sick, those in prison, feeding the hungry, and clothing the needy. You will be telling others about Jesus and leading them to Him. Daily, you will be worshiping the one true God. God will bless that. He will bless you. I can understand every diet plan known to mankind and even have them memorized. But unless I put that knowledge into action, that knowledge is useless. If you're not getting the blessings you know God can provide, go back to the mirror of self-reflection and take a good hard look. Are you merely a hearer or are you a doer? If you don't like what you see, don't walk away and forget. Pray to God for wisdom, strength, and opportunities to put your faith and your knowledge into action. Reach out to a strong sister and ask her to help you. We are here for each other. Regardless of your life circumstances today, there is a way for you to serve God in a mighty way. Even the bedbound can pray, and we all know how powerful prayer can be. So, my sisters, let's all be doers and not just hearers. Are you with me? We can do this. If you are not sure, reach out to a more mature sister. See what programs are available in the congregation where you attend. Look for ways to be kind, compassionate, and helpful to others. Don't listen to or repeat gossip. Be in scripture every day and talk to God more than once a day. God will show you what to do. His word is alive and powerful. Thank you for listening today. I pray that you will give this message from God's word some serious thought and prayers. Please like this message and share this YouTube channel with your sisters in Christ. If you would like to learn more about me or the Let's Get Real ministry, my ladies Bible study book and video, or read my blog post, please go to my website. The address will appear at the end of this message. If you would like to contact me, you can write me at getrealinspiration at gmail.com. That address will also appear at the end of this video. I just love our time together, ladies. But until we are together again, please don't forget that God loves you, and so do I.